Welcome to a new broadcast of Larissa Gabi Show. I'm so excited today because we have a wonderful lady from ID, Mrs. ID World, that I met of recent, in, it was in March. Uh, we were having a competition for the Queen of the World pageantry. And tonight we're going to have a, a conversation between queens and we're going to talk about Mrs. World Pageantry. She's going to compete again. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Larissa Gabo, for having me. I am so honored that you have chosen me to have this conversation. And I've watched our, our previous um interviews and it looks so good. So I was like, oh, let me I can't wait for my interview. So here I am. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in such a long time. I mean, I see you on Instagram, but <laughs> <laughs> it's good to I see you, you mean. virtually you know? face to face. <laughs> It was wonderful meeting you in March. And you know, what I said to people was, I may, I may not came with a crown, but I came with experience. Wonderful ladies, and I mean it. The time I spent with you, we took so many pictures. I yeah. know that one, I took a lot of pictures with you. And I love taking pictures, so we have at least that one in common between uh, friendship and the connection was wonderful and um, yes tonight again you are here and we want to talk about you competing again I know tell us about it first of all present yourself again here of course hi everyone my name is Ludwig Norsi Luz I'm currently Mrs. IT World 2023 I will be competing at the Mrs. World pageant in December in Las Vegas Nevada and Another thing too, um, I have been uh, competing for about four years now. Mm -hmm. um, I've done a couple ones, um, which I've learned experience as well, Larissa. So um, it's always a joy. And um, people always tell me that I'm crazy for doing pageants so mm -hmm. often because a lot of people tend to, you know, they, they do one and like they go away for like two years and they do another one. So they just like disparately do what do them. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it my all. So Yes, I, I feel you. You know, when uh we finished the competition, I was just tired. I didn't want to hear any more about pageantry. This was my first time, but my legs were <laughs> killing me and I was so exhausted. I was just like, My God, I didn't know how difficult it's it really sacrifice huge sacrifices women mm -hmm. girls mm -hmm. girls to join the pageantry. But later on I've been like, No way, I can't just stop here. It's so beautiful. It's not just about the competition, it's about sisters friends connection and you name it and uh, lately i've been looking for new pageantry i'm like okay let me take time because now at least i know a little bit what it is about so i feel you i know and until you feel that okay now i'm done i i'm, I'm going to encourage you dear to just compete and and until you you get what you want to have and everyone have different goals. And the Mrs. World, I decided to wear my sash of Mrs. Cameroon World because I I was once um, holding the title of Mrs. Cameroon World. And I really love the Mrs. World pageantry as well. And when I heard that you were going to compete again there, so I was very happy. So I went and, and looked where I hide my sash to wear it. And I, I love it. It looks beautiful. Thank you. You also so look very, very beautiful. I know, right? And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's I like dazzled like yours. <laughs> this red, mine is was made in Cameroon. One thing with the one thing with the Mrs. Ward that I like too is that when we have the positive opportunity to just make our sash, it make look like that one before competing. Because I, I didn't have the opportunity to come because of the we know the COVID situation, but uh, I did this in my country. They tried, and it was a bit big, but uh, <laughs> at least I'm carrying Cameroon. Very proud of my country, you know. Honestly, like, I felt like I thought my stash was Let big. And then I do. saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. It That, that looks really big. <laughs> yes, it was really big. Yes. <laughs> Just have to, yes, tell me. What about your study? No, um, I was saying like I initially thought my sash was too big because it kept sliding off. <laughs> <laughs> but 
um when I look back at previous contestants like like yours I think um UK world was also huge as well <laughs> I think uh Italy was really big too. I was like, okay, you know, well, okay, so maybe I don't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was funny, but anyway, it's fun. Every experience we have the pageantry means a lot. It's like from the sash or the competition, everything we do, I think it's so fun. And also because we are most mature ladies, so we we just enjoy it and it's fun. I know you have a very special uh, platform. So tell us about it. So my platform has changed over the years. Um, initially, it used to be about self-love, and then it evolved into mental health. Mm -hmm. So um, currently, I do work with a nonprofit called, thanks, just escaped me, I'm sorry, No Limit. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Um, no Limit Health and Counseling, and, mm -hmm. and it's Black-owned. It's a nonprofit on top of that, too, which mm -hmm. I love when a mental health um, institution is a um, nonprofit as well, where they only operate based on funding, and it's completely community-based. Um, and um, the reason why I chose to work with that organization, not only is Black-owned, is the fact that majority of the therapists at that um organization are black as well mm -hmm. so um it's very few far in between that we have a lot of um black therapists mm -hmm. and i love to see it and, and and i support it and on top of that they also do workshops with um beauty shops mm -hmm. and in uh barber shops to where they train those licensed stylists and yeah. barbers to be mental health advocates so wow. you know um, a lot of people for their monthly care, you know, you get their hair done, their, 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 uh, their haircuts, yeah. those people tend to tell them their, um, stories a lot, you know, like what they're going through. And mm -hmm. if you have someone that has been doing your hair care for a long time, you build a friendship with yeah. that stylist. Yeah. So at any time that in any time that those clients feel comfortable sharing what they're going through, they can always spot up spot signs mm. that way they can refer them back to no limit. And that's something that that I appreciate that um, that company started doing for the past two years mm. is to have that community helping each other and refer them back to licensed therapists. So that's wow. that's why I love working with them. Awesome, awesome. Everything, these things that are connected to people, helping life, encouraging, means a lot for everybody. And yeah. I think you are doing a tremendous job and uh, everyone should support it. So you're going to compete. And uh, how do you feel now about a new competition? Are you ready? <laughs> um, I wouldn't say I'm ready, but I'm getting ready. Honestly, the last time I competed, um, I didn't know what to expect. Mm. Uh, I, I've done, I wouldn't call it national pageants. It was a country pageant, right? However, okay. I've, um, I haven't been to an, an a national pageant just as big as Mrs. World. Mm -hmm. I've done smaller pageants, but the idea of getting glitz and glim every day, mm -hmm. when I tell you these ladies give me a run for my money, girl, for breakfast, they all gowned up, wow. hair, makeup done. And then for dinner, we're in ball gowns every wow. day for dinner, every wow. night for dinner, dressed up like shiny and, and you know, all the jewelry, all the big hair, oh, the pageant yeah. hair everything and um they do have like hair and makeup uh, um that you pay for for the week so you you have set times for you to go and get your hair and makeup done so okay. morning has a different look night oh, has a different look oh, it's, so it's 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 amazing and 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 um everything is all included so like your food your, your breakfast lunch and dinner is all included so you eat good girl you eat good the whole entire time <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> 
when I was thinking we're gonna lose weight, it's you know when people think about beauty competition, they think okay, that's the time they're gonna fast, and then they have to have bad food or anything. But it's it it sounds very special. I love the Mrs. World because even just the picture and the testimony I've heard before from people like Mrs. Gloria World and. Jennifer and um, I didn't have I didn't come but I I was almost there I experienced all the preparation on hey, you should come in December come support me on stage this year I need to Real take stay. time again to get prepared I feel <laughs> like I need some time because um, no, not yeah. competing I'm saying like come to the shows watch everything oh, exactly yeah maybe who knows maybe I cannot say no maybe um, in Las Vegas, we're going to see. Let's see what life gives us. And uh, you never say never. You never know. Thank you for the invitation. Actually, I'll give I... you six months. You better get ready. <laughs> exactly. That would be nice to meet up again. I mean, with the other sisters, queens. So let me know what you have in your heart to say to the people outside there, to the young ladies, young boys. Uh, something you say before we finish the broadcast. Yeah, so... For me, one of the key things that I wanted to work on this year mm -hmm. is that I wanted to work with more organizations, especially organizations that are youth-based. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to get a chance to go around and have confidence workshops with young girls. Mm -hmm. um, they could be as um, young as four years old, all the way till teenagers. Mm -hmm. And th there's a lot that goes on in those D development stages mm -hmm. in a child's life and we have so many things that we don't pay attention to when it comes to being parents yeah. so the only way that we can have that one-on-one -on -one conversation is to teach as an older woman to a young woman growing is to teach them about confidence how to respect themselves how to have clear boundaries how to know what one of their no-no zones mm -hmm. how to um, voice your opinion without being aggressive, how to uh, walk with confidence, how to have that clean effect about yeah. yourself. Wow, that's powerful. It's true. We have all been teenagers and we know how it is. I'm a mother of teen. I have two boys, teenagers, and we know how it is. Um, Sometimes we don't even notice things that are going on in their lives. And... Uh, we get surprised, but having the opportunity to talk, to give them a platform to speak and share their heart is so important. And um, yes, as you say, you, you want to work with organizations like that. Do you want to work with organizations like that? Connect, get connected with organizations only on, in U.S. or all around the world? I would love to connect with organizations all around the world, Absolutely. but I just know for, for now, as Mrs. Haiti, that's that's where I want to start mm -hmm. with that work and hopefully continue on when I win Mrs. World and to work with world organizations to grow that platform uh, to make sure that everyone gets a chance to become more confident in, in themselves because th that's something that I've become more aware of mm -hmm. with myself as well with doing pageantry. Mm -hmm. The person that I was in 2019, the person I am today is definitely not the same you know, I, love, you know. I I look completely different. I lost over 70 pounds. I walk different. I speak different. I wow. I, it's a whole different ball game. Um and when I hear people downplay pageantry, I just, you know, I try to tell them, okay, give it a try yourself. Because you. honestly, mm. let me tell you my backstory with pageantry. Um I was doing radio. So I have been a radio personality here in Orlando uh, yeah. for the past five years. Yeah. And one person that I interviewed was a contestant that was running for Mrs. Haiti International in 2018. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And her, um, she was representing the city in Haiti called Jeremy. And I remember interviewing her. She was like, she, she does this. She, she She's a... Uh, injury lawyer here mm -hmm. and after the interview kind of became friends so when she went to competition I went to support and she ended up winning wow figure, right so wow. <laughs> she ended up winning and when she won Mrs. Haiti I was like wow that's crazy and then the following year she was like I think you should compete I said girl please I don't know I, 
I don't fit the uh the general look of what a pageant girl looked like because at the time I was extremely overweight. Okay. I didn't see myself in that light. Mm -hmm. And she was like, no, this is more about women, empower women. And she was like, you already a public figure with everything that you do already. Yes, exactly. So they look for women who are doing community involvement. You're very mm -hmm. active. Um, so just give it a try. So I ended up going. Yes. I ended up signing up in 2019. Yeah. I didn't win, but I was like the last two standing with the winner. I was like, okay, I, I got a taste of what it's like. So slowly yeah. over the years, I've lost weight. I signed up again the following year of 2020. But, you know, with COVID, I, I ended up not going because I caught COVID. Yeah. And uh, I pulled out a competition. And then the following year in 2021, I went and I was runner up to the Canadian National 2021 that was okay. uh what's her name uh Martin yes. <laughs> and funny enough we live in the same neighborhood and we became friends since <laughs> wow. so um with me being Mrs. Haiti last year going to the competition she she's been my backbone the same with um Canadian wow. National 2018 mm -hmm. modeling so we just been uh pretty tight and not too many Haitian women, uh at, at least married women, compete mm -hmm. in pageantry. No, not too many. And Same thing. So the know. very yeah. So the very few Haitian women that put the put themselves out there to represent mm -hmm. the country, I always um applaud Miss, them. LM, Miss not the misses, but the Miss, MS or the Miss. Don't do that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, I see what you mean. So, what I've found is uh -huh. that there is quite a bit of Miss Haiti competition, the MS or the MISS ones. Mm. There's usually a, a um representative, but yeah. not too many with the MRS mm. Haiti um competitions. I think uh when I was doing this, there was only three pageants that accepted a Haiti as a contest um contested country mm -hmm. as a married everyone else had like let's say Miss Universe has a Haiti one Miss Haiti uh -huh. Universe Miss Haiti um Miss, Miss uh, World Miss World have a Haiti one there's also Miss um uh Supranational also has a Haiti division um th there's like five pageants Mm -hmm. at least that's um international pageants that have a hitty division but as far as married women not so many oh. so i was like okay well i'm gonna push the narrative i said to myself i i want to have at least five hitty titles exactly or, or one international title so oh, that's awesome that's really awesome and i admire your courage and doing this as we are usually said to join the pageantry is not only for us it's for our children for the next generation to inspire someone and uh, really really i'm proud of you and i love you my queen sister and i think this journey you have just started we won't give up here and hearing that you are going again after four four year time i really would love to compete again as I say, I'm going to take my time to choose which one and then get prepared also because I feel like, okay, lately I've been eating and not really thinking about. But nevertheless, it's not about our outside appearance. It's about being beautiful inside out. And I'm going to start with my own competition this year, Beautiful Inside Out World. That's one of the reasons why I'm taking a break to start my, to be pageant director of my own competition pageant organization because I've been involved into working with women organizing conference before but when it comes to competition pageant is something else but I'm used to empowering women and this I've done for many years so I feel like well I wanted to add this on what I know already and let us see what happened but I'll still come back and compete as well as the uh, as just as a contestant but thank you so much dear friend and um, I hope this is not the last and you probably invite me on your podcast as, as so very soon yes. <laughs> it's funny I'm inviting yes. you I forgot oh, to love. bring that up <laughs> thank you so much because you sent me an invitation one time but it was like almost 3 a.m here since I live in Norway and you live there so I wake up in the morning I was like okay dear I was asleep <laughs> 
deep asleep. But sometimes I have even broadcast that time with people living in US. For me, it's not a problem to stay awake to join a program or something. But this is not the last time you're coming. And I hope to interview you again very soon. You have my support and I believe that you may win the crown this time. Thank you for uh, speaking that over me. I receive it. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Larissa. You look very beautiful with that hairstyle. Um, Thank you. Yeah, it really fits you very well. Love you, dear, and welcome back. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for everyone watching, and thank you again for all your comments. Take contact with us, and see you soon. Bye.